guys, welcome back to Gracie's Room. So I'm always scrolling on Instagram and I see a lot of life hack videos and some of them look really interesting. Um, some of them look like very helpful and some of them look like I'm not sure if they're gonna work. And I've actually never tested a life hack. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be seeing if um, some of these actually work or some of them are not gonna work out at all. I'm really interested to see if they're gonna work because maybe I can actually use some of them. Um, I'm also gonna be including one of my own life hacks at the end, so stay tuned for that. Okay, well, let's get started. The first life hack is I'm going to be um, turning an old Pringles can into a makeup pads dispenser. So for this, you're going to need a Pringles can, some washi tape to decorate it, and some makeup removing pads, and some wipes just to like clean out the can. Oh, and I'm also gonna need a knife. So, firstly, I'm gonna take the, ooh, the lid off, it's a bit tough. <laughs> and I've just got a bowl here to put the Pringles in. There we go. Oops, I'm sure James will eat these later. <laughs> Okay, make sure you also keep the lid too because you're going to need it just to close it up. Alright, so it is a bit dirty at the moment, so what I'm going to do is take these wipes and just give it a little bit of a clean. Alright, so I think it's nice and clean now and smells much better. So now what I need to do is I need to cut a little semicircle in so the makeup moving pads can actually get out. And I'm just going to say for any of you kids at home or anyone, um, if you're going to be using like a knife to use this, I recommend getting parent supervision or your parents to help you because I don't want anyone hurting themselves. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a whole line right there. I think I want to go like maybe halfway so at least like the pads have enough room to come out. Okay, so I finished cutting um, the line down the bottom. So now what I'm going to be doing is I think maybe just at the top of this little chip here, I'm going to be cutting down on an angle so it creates like a semicircle. Um, hopefully this turns out well. <laughs> That turned out really well, actually. All right, that's good. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a clean at the bottom. And now I'm going to make it all pretty because I'm not sure if you really wanna put this in your bathroom. <laughs> um, so I have some washi tape here and what I'm going to be doing is just de de decorating it. So sticking it all around. Um, I don't know, which colors should I use? Hmm, I might use the blue and the pink and I'm feeling good, I'll add a bit of yellow in. All right, let's start. Okay, so that did take a little bit, but I finished decorating it. It's probably a little bit rush, so don't mind my taping skills. If um, I was trying to make it really perfect, I'd probably add another layer of this because you can kind of see that actual um, packaging in the background. But that's okay, we're just still testing it. All right, so now the last thing is to take out the makeup removing pads and just put them in the inside. Okay, so I've got those out and now what I need to do is just put this in here. Okay. So they're all in, and now I just put the lid back on top, and we're all done. Now, I'm gonna test this just to see if I can pull these out easily, because the thing I was worried about is like, I pull it out, but then all of this would come out, but it seems to work fine. That's actually pretty cool. That could be really useful. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, I guess this works. It was actually pretty easy to do, so I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Okay, on to the next hack. So the next two life hacks are all about toothpaste. So the first one is apparently toothpaste removes permanent marker. Now this one is like really interesting to me because it could be like so useful because permanent marker ruins a lot of things. So I can't wait to see if this one works. 
I'm just going to draw a love heart on this plastic container because I don't really want to do it in our actual table because what if it doesn't work? Okay, so I've got my toothpaste. I'm just going to let's make sure it's dry first. Yeah, definitely doesn't come off. And then I'm just going to squirt some on. Okay, so I have a toothbrush here just to scrub it in. Let's see if this works. Oh, can't see anything yet. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, it looks like it's gone. Oh, wow. Okay, I see the scrub part. Oh, wow. Doesn't look like it's there anymore. That's so cool. Okay. Well, um, I can't see it anymore, so let's just take off the toothpaste and see what happened. Okay, well, I finished cleaning it and there is absolutely no sign of permanent marker. That is actually so cool. Wow, well, that's really handy. Well, I have to give that one a big thumbs up. Okay, so this next one, or the last one for the toothpaste, is apparently um, toothpaste can clean like your scratched and fingerprinty old phones. Um, so, oh sorry, not old phones, new phones. Um, so my phone actually has a lot of scratches and fingerprints on it. I'm usually pretty careful, but you know, every now and then I drop it and stuff. Um, so apparently if you put toothpaste on it, it will get rid of all the little scratches and um, fingerprints. And I think my phone is definitely due for a bit of a clean. So let's put some on. I'm not gonna be using the actual toothbrush bleh, brush to scrub it in because I don't want that to actually scratch my phone. So I'm just gonna use my fingers just to rub it into my screen. I hope this doesn't ruin my phone. <laughs> okay. It's hard to tell if it's working. I'm gonna, it'll be, I'll be able to tell once I take off the toothpaste. Okay, so I've been scrubbing for a bit now and hopefully that's enough. So I'm just gonna take off the toothpaste and let's pray that it works. Okay. So I know where all the scratches are on my phone, I remember, because they've been haunt haunting me for all the time I've had my phone. So um, I'll be able to see if they're still there. Okay, so my phone kind of looks a little bit wet still. Um, I'm looking at my phone and it's definitely gotten rid of fingerprints, but I think everything gets rid of fingerprints. Um, and I can still see scratches on my phone. I don't think this works for scratches because I scrub, I'm not sure, maybe I didn't scrub hard enough. Maybe like there's something I actually need to use to scrub it in, but I mean, at least my phone smells minty now. <laughs> That's good. Um, so, I, yeah, the scratches are still on there. I don't think that it works for scratches, but if you want your phone to smell minty and um, if you want to get rid of fingerprints, then I guess it works. So I'm going to give it like a thumbs to the side, but I mean, it was supposed to get rid of scratches, so I'm going to give it a thumbs down. Okay, on to the next hack. So a lot of you may know that I love makeup, I love putting it on my face and stuff, but I often make a lot of mistakes and it's really hard to clean it up without ruining your whole entire look. So this next life hack is supposed to make that easier and we're going to be turning a highlighter into a makeup remover. I thought this one was really interesting, um, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but let's test it. So for this you're always going to need highlighters, some water to soak the ink in, um, some makeup remover liquid and then some tweezers just to take the ink part out. And then I've got some makeup here just to test to see if this actually works. So first thing I need to do is just disassemble um, my uh, highlighter. So I'm gonna do it from the middle first. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take the tweezers Oh, Well, I'm just gonna take this middle piece out first. And the good part is it's actually got a cover on it so I'm not gonna stain my fingers. So I'm gonna pop that in the water and the ink will come out of it. Um, on this side, I'm just gonna take the little nibs out. Um, so I've got my tweezers here. Okay, so I just finished taking all of the uh, ink out of the highlighter. So now what I'm gonna do is leave it in the water just to soak so the ink will all come out of the little nibs. 
Um, this actually works a lot faster than I thought it would. The ink comes out like a lot easier. So if I like just squeeze this, see like the ink just coming out. So it should only take about like maybe half an hour or 15 minutes. Like, or maybe sorry, 15 minutes, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna let this soak for a little bit, but I've actually prepared um, one earlier, so I don't have to wait for it. Um, I used a blue highlighter and I've taken out the um, ink, so it's ready to go. Sorry, I have pink highlighter all over my hands. I don't really want to stain it again. Um, so now what I need to do is actually soak this in some makeup remover. So I'm just going to squirt a bit in. Just a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of squeeze it in so it soaks a bit faster. Alright, so I think that's had enough soaking time. Now I'm just going to reassemble my highlighter. So firstly, I'll take the... Oops, you take, can't take this apart. Um, firstly, I'll take the nibs and put these back in. Um, so I have this one. I'll put that in. I really hope that this life hack works, guys. Like, like life's going to be so much easier to take you off makeup if this actually does work. Okay. Now, I just need to put the middle part in. Okay. All right, so I finished putting that in and now it's time to test to see if it works. So firstly, I'm just going to muck up my makeup a little bit. I'll start off with lipstick. Okay, so. So, see, I just went outside of the lines a little bit there. I'm actually really bad at putting on lipstick. I always go outside of the lines, so hopefully this does work. Um, I want to get the, oop, I want to get the kind of like more angled side, this side. It's going to be easier, so let's see. Oh. oh, wow. I mean, it doesn't come off like in one swipe, but like it actually it worked. I just, I'm just, just checking to see though if it like actually leaves a bit of a smudge at the end. And the other thing I was worried about is like, won't it leave like lipstick on the actual nib? I don't know. Like it's not really coming off that easy. You might actually need like a makeup wipe or something to take it off, which is not very convenient because this is supposed to be a makeup remover. So, um, well, I mean, I guess that worked. Now I'm going to be using eyeliner because this one I think is the like, hardest part of like makeup and one that I think everyone messes up with. So again, I'm also really bad at eyeliner. So, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, that looks very bad. Let me just join that. Okay, that just looks bad. So I'm just gonna see if I can kind of fix up the edges a bit. Um, I don't know if maybe I should use the other side now because this one's already stained with the lipstick. That's not a very good thing though, because how are you gonna clean that? Okay. Oh. See like how it's um like the makeup actually like smudging now? Like you're gonna have to like wipe that off, but then that like smudges it. Oh, that's not very good. See and now like the nib's like all stained. Oh. Oh, that's so disappointing. I really wanted this one to work. Let's see if the other side works. Um, yeah, same thing. Okay, well, I think this would have been really good. Maybe, like, my nibs are too small or something. But, yeah, it's just, like, it makes it all dirty and, like, it smudges it. So, I'm going to have to give this one... Sadly, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down. I was really hoping this one would work. But, yeah, I just guess it's just going to make a stain. Oh, well, on to the next hack. So, this next life hack is revamping some old white shoes. So for this, you're going to need some Sharpies and some hairspray just to set it in place. Now, I thought like this one is like cool because like, you know, sometimes white shoes might be a bit boring and you want to make them more exciting. So um, I'm just like interested to see because I know like the Sharpie, ooh, the Sharpie will like work on like the shoe, but like what if it's not like waterproof? Like what if it smudges and stuff? So I'm interested to see what happens with that. So I have some Sharpies here. I might just use these colors, like unicorn kind of theme. Um, and what I'm gonna do is draw some polka dots around it. 
and then I'm gonna spray it with the hairspray um, and hopefully it works. So I'm gonna draw some polka dots firstly. I'm gonna try and make this look really nice. Alright, so I finished drawing all of the polka dots. I think this side probably next, looks a little bit neater. I'm not the best at drawing circles. Um, so now what I'm going to be doing is colouring in the little polka dots, but I think I'm going to vary between the purple and the pink. So let's do that. Okay. So I finished colouring them, uh, my colouring in skills probably need a bit of work but I'm sure you all get the idea. Um, so I probably should have outlined them in the purple because the blue kind of disappeared but oh well. Okay well already I can tell this looks way more colourful and exciting than these shoes. I would just play them white and now these ones look very colourful and pretty. Um, so I'm going to be using some hairspray just to lock it all in place because I mean like it's not really smudging, I guess. Oh, maybe a little, not too much. But um, just this hairspray is just gonna help set it in place. Oh, wait, it's bleeding. Oh, um, that's not very helpful. Okay, maybe it needs doing too much. Oh, oh, it's bleeding. Okay, I'm not gonna bother doing any more. Um, well, obviously, they forgot to tell us that maybe you shouldn't use hairspray. Um, that just completely melted them. Oh, that's really sad. I was proud of my work. Okay, so obviously the hairspray is not supposed to set it in place. Maybe there's something else you could use too. Because I mean, like the first part would have worked, so I would have given that a thumbs up. But to set it in place, I'm gonna have to give that a thumbs down. Because I mean, that to that. I mean, maybe if you weren't gonna do such like a kind of trim kind of look, if you did like more of a patterns, then that could actually look good because it's melting them. But like when it dries, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if it's like waterproof as well, if that means. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give that one a thumbs down. I mean, unless you don't wanna set it in place, then I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. So I'm just gonna give it a thumbs down. All right, on to the next life hack. Do any of you just want like a temporary tattoo that you could just have on for the day without having to go out and buy one of those like ones that you put on with the water? Well, got you covered there. Um, so this next life hack, apparently you can use eyeliner and cover it with like some baby powder and lotion and you'll have a temporary tattoo that doesn't come off in water apparently. So I'm just going to draw just on my wrist here, a uh, love heart. Okay. There we go. Um, and now what I need to do is apparently, ooh, apparently you cover it in a bit of baby powder. So I'll just sprinkle some on and then you rub it in and then just dust it off. Ooh, I've got baby powder over it. Okay, so it kind of looks like it like set the eyeliner in place a bit. It doesn't look like it's smudging yet. And then apparently you put on lotion. So it's still a little pump. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to use a bit of paper toweling and take it off. Oh, that just, that just wiped the whole thing away. Okay, well, um, maybe it could be my eyeliner, maybe it's a bit smudgy. But um, I'm going to actually try that again, but instead I'm going to use baby powder and hairspray instead of lotion. And maybe that will work because that's just completely wiped off. Okay, I just need to wipe quickly. Like in the hat, she used the um, lotion and she like wiped it and it didn't even move at all. So that's really strange. Like, again, it could be my eyeliner, but I have absolutely no idea. So I'm going to do that again. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna use a bit of baby powder. 
I'm just putting on a little bit more baby powder than last time because maybe that does help. Like maybe I didn't put on, <laughs> sorry, maybe I didn't put on enough eyeliner, oh, baby powder. So let's just see. And now I'm supposed to spray it with hairspray. Apparently the hairspray makes it a little bit more waterproof. I'm not sure what's gonna happen because it kind of looks like it's bleeding a bit now. See the little lines it's making? Wow, I'm actually really scared for baby toweling on now. Okay, didn't smudge, that's good, that's good. So now, I'm gonna put it to the test and I am going to take some water and pour it over the tattoo and so let's see, I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit and let's see if it smudges. Okay, wait, is it dry? All right, yeah, let's go. All right, well, I mean, it didn't seem to move. But let's just see if I rub it, if anything happens. Mm, just a little bit of residue, but, oh, it's actually pretty dry. You probably need to put like a lot of hairspray on and let it make sure it like dries really well. But like, it's kind of like smudging a little bit. Maybe this is kind of putting a bit of pressure on, but that did actually kind of work. I honestly think maybe my eyeliner was a little bit too inky maybe, but then again, it should have just like made it same place. Um, I'm gonna say no to the lotion and the baby powder, but if you use the baby powder and hairspray, I'm gonna give that a thumbs up because it did work. I poured water on it and it didn't come off. So obviously this is probably gonna last for like maybe six hours or something. So you might need to do it again, but I will give it a thumbs up because I guess it did work and it was waterproof. So let's move on to the next life hack. You know how many times I've been in class and I've just like felt really hungry and I just love a little snack? Well, I saw this life hack and I was so happy because apparently you can put food into an empty glue stick and that sounds so cool. So um, obviously you need some, a glue stick and you need some candy, so I have some Starburst here. Did they actually use Starburst? But then I saw Lifesavers, and I thought like this one might actually work. So, what you need to do is, firstly, you need to clean out your glue stick. So, I've actually done that already with one, but I'll show you how you can disassemble it. Um, so, just screw this up all the way. I mean, you could probably do this with like an empty glue stick that you've already done, but if you don't have one, then you can empty a new one. So just roll it up all the way and then take this out. I mean, you're gonna have to keep this so you can actually put the candy in it, but like just break the glue off. Um, and then you need to clean the outside, just use like some wipes or some water or something. But yeah, so that's how you clean it out. Um, that might take a little bit, so I've already done it. It's nice and clean. Um, again, I kept like the little part here that keeps, that holds the glue. Uh, and I also cleaned the little spirally thing because that has a bit of glue in it too. Okay, so firstly I'm going to do the lifesavers because they're dry and um, the starbursts are a bit like oily or something so I don't really want it to stain the um, glue stick. So I'm going to use the lifesavers first. So apparently I should put this in here and then I'm just going to take some lifesavers and put, oh, this one broke. <laughs> okay, let's try the next one. Okay, that's better. So I'm gonna put some of them in. They don't really like fit the best in the um, little blue thing, but that's okay, I guess, because if you go down, you can just easily take one out. I'm just gonna scroll this down all the way. Okay. Um, just gonna put a few more in. Okay, that's all. So now let's put the lid back on. So let's pretend I'm in class and I take my glue stick out. Um, and then just sneakily when no one's watching, put one of these out and eat it. <laughs> oh, these are hard. <laughs> so, I mean, this one pretty much works. It's pretty like self-explanatory. I mean, that one works. I mean, you probably need to keep another glue stick in there. So if you need it, um, that's easy. Now. So I need to chew this. Um, there wasn't, the one I wasn't too sure if it was gonna work was the Starburst. Cause I thought, 
very crunchy. <laughs> I thought maybe like it might get a bit stuck in the glue stick, especially since it's very like sticky. That's the word. I said oily before. I meant to say sticky. So have some Starburst and what you're supposed to do is unwrap them and then kind of like mold it into like a circle sort of shape, shape like this. I mean, if you want, you can probably like cut the edges off, but this is easier. And then you put it in here, this little case. And then I'm just gonna mold it a bit again. This is just from the bottom one and just make sure like it's really nice and tug in there though, because when you put it in, it might actually like come out and like get stuck at the top. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna put it back in and just screw it down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put a few more on. Okay, it's got a little bit stuck there, but I'm just trying to like push it down a little bit. I think you only need to do this for the first one. Once you do some more, then maybe it'll be a bit easier. So I'm gonna use a yellow one. I think my favorite Starburst are the pink ones. I love them, they taste so good. I'm gonna mold it the same way. And put that in. Okay, I might just do one more. Okay, so I finished putting in all of the Starburst. It doesn't actually look like you can fit that many in there. I've only fit like three in, and I think it's actually already reached the bottom. Okay then. So um, let's see if this one actually works. I'm really excited because I love Starburst. All right, so let's open it up and just so no one's watching. I actually want to like scroll it up like all the way. Oh, how cool does that look? Oh wow, that's so cool. And just, mm. Well, I'm actually glad that that one works. Like I said, just make sure you like make it really nice and tight and like kind of guide it through the, the glue stick, otherwise it's gonna get stuck. And make sure that no one's watching because I'd be a little bit concerned if I saw one of my friends eat my glue stick and I'm sure the teacher <laughs> would probably send me to the doctors if I ate my glue stick. <laughs> so make sure no one's watching when you do it. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I'm really happy with this one and I can't wait to take this to school. Isn't it annoying when you have those flyaways or wispy hair and it's really hard to stick it down but you don't wanna use too much product because it's gonna look too slick and stuff. Well, have I got the life hack for you. This one I actually came up with myself. I mean, it's probably been done before. Don't come for me. Um, I mean, I, thought, I haven't seen it before and I did think of it, so I'm gonna take credit for it today. But um, you can actually use an empty mascara bottle and fill it up with hair gel to use it to stick back all your hair. So um, what you need to do is have a mascara bottle. I like it when it's clear so it's easier to see when you're cleaning it. And then what, I mean, this one's full, but usually it would be empty. So you empty out all the excess mascara in it and then you fill it up with hair gel and then it turns into this. So um, it's really good because it like really grabs like all the hairs and like make sure it's stuck. So I'll quickly do it. So I have a lot of hair ways. I have so many really annoying baby hairs. And see, it works. Just make sure you don't get this part stuck um, in your hair because then it might pull it. So you've got to be a bit careful with this one. But it did work, see? It's actually really useful. I use it every single day. I, I'm really happy with this one. I'm going to give myself a little thumbs up. But um, that is all the life hacks that I have today. Um, a lot of them, I was really happy with these life hacks, actually. My favorite one, I mean, besides my own one, was probably the Starburst glue stick. I mean, the lightsabers are okay, but like, I love Starburst, so I'm gonna say I probably use the Starburst a lot, and I'm probably gonna take it to school tomorrow. Hopefully, no one catches me using this. Um, I was really actually disappointed with the um, highlighter one because I really wanted it to work, because that would be so cool. Like, it's just like so much easier. Oh well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.